2013, Now You'll See Me. I'm not French, but she's doing a dodgy French accent and it's addictive. So it's amazing how whenever a woman speaks to you and if you don't stare at her tits, she always does something to try to make you stare at her tits. Like, um, I'll just stretch, arch my back and part my jacket and shove them up in the air. Sweetheart, if you want a man to stare at your tits, wear a bra. Honestly, if they're that low down, they're not going to be looked at with lust. They're going to be looked at with laughter. You know, clowns empty nose, envelope flaps. The movie, it's um, 25 minutes in and it's boring. They got some reasonable talent. Um, Jesse, what's his name? Jesse the Jew, whatever the fuck he is. Um, He's okay, but he's the same in everything he does. I'm a nerdy Jewish guy. Ah, I keep falling over. Um, guy who played the Hulk in the recent woke Marvel films. Um, druggy guy, Woody Harrelson. I quite like the stuff Woody Harrelson does. He's quite good in what he does, but he just keeps getting stuck in my head that he's a druggy. And I've got this real aversion to druggies. It's a shame because I actually quite like the stuff he's done. Um, there's some other people in it. No idea who they are. Oh, Michael Caine. Um, that fucking sex offender is in it as well. Morgan Freeman? Yeah, Morgan Freeman's in it. Briefly. Right fucking nonce he is. Uh, and Michael Caine. And he's always worth a watch. So far he's barely done anything. Which is a bit of a shame. But, um... Yeah, it's really slow going, really slow going. It's background. I mean, I'm otherwise occupied with a new old game. So, um, yeah, it, it's just background. The main reason I'm so reluctant to watch any new movies or TV series, it can take, I've had Wednesday, the series, for three months. I still haven't had the courage to watch it because everything is so woke. Woke is anti-straight white, generally men, but also women, especially English people. So we're an hour into the movie. It's really, really tedious and slow. And you can bet your ass 99% of the money to make the movie went on the wages of three people. So an hour into it and yep, woke has kicked into gear. Because the straight white Englishman, Michael Caine, has had all his money stolen by the people he was helping and given to a black woman. Yeah. It was tedious beforehand, now it's just irritating. Yeah, the woke shit is really kicking in. You see Morgan Freeman, and what do you see next? Yeah. Fucking woke anti-white shit. Nice tits though. It's a shame they're going to be surrounded by a black guy. It is really, really hard work getting through this movie. It is so tedious and slow. Michael Caine was only there to be a straight white English man to get fucked over. Morgan Freeman is only there to be a smug black man. Oh, uh, and of course, he has to hang around with skinny white women. For fuck's sake. I mean, this is the same guy who has been, um, I don't know if he's been convicted, but he has been accused of dozens and dozens of sexual offences against women and girls and kids. So he shouldn't be in a fucking movie, let alone being allowed to hang around with girls a fraction of his age creeping on them. But the movie, it's tedious. Oh, so tedious. And what's even worse is I've got the sequel. I think the sequel is 2016. And that's, I don't know if my brain can handle watching another piece of crap like that. Well, I do have insomnia, so fuck it. The twist at the end where it was the FBI guy, Incredible Hulk, whatever the fuck his name is, Ruffy, like Ruffalo, whatever, is actually the mastermind behind it all. Yeah, that doesn't, actually makes sense and that a black man gets locked up it's a nice twist but one nice twist is not enough to redeem 
a two hour movie and it is two hours and four minutes long that is not enough to redeem two hours of my fucking life not for the sake of one little twist because that doesn't explain how they got a guy worth 140 million to back him or any of that sort of bollocks so um there's no extreme highs or extreme lows it is just a constant blah, which kind of sums up Jesse Eisen flower iceberg whatever zombie land guy it sums him up because that is what he is in whatever he does he's the same person he's not he, hey oh, whoo, he uh, they uh, they, uh, they, uh, that, that's him, whatever he does. Um, I may try and do a part two in a bit, I don't know. Pff, fuck it. In conclusion, certain people should not try saying certain words. Resolution is a word that some people cannot say. I've got most of my teeth are missing. I've had a list with all the babby. But I can still say resolution. I cannot say sausages in a takeaway. I have never had sausage and chips in a takeaway. So if I go into a takeaway or in public and try to say sausage, it comes out as sausages. I could just not, I got a psychological block. I cannot say sausage in front of somebody else. Anyhow, um, Gruffalo cannot say resolution. It's a yeah, Yep, that, that's not exactly an eloquent person. Anywho, five minutes of good movie at the ending does not redeem two hours of... <laughs> so, um... I'm going to try and go for a shit, and then maybe if I'm still awake afterwards, I'll try and watch part two. But part one, blah. Serious blah.